Hi, this is Asa, and welcome to my audio experience. If the body can get sick, it can also get well. Lifestyle is our medicine. More than anything, I had a guy tell me the other day, he goes, man, I'm old, I'm 50. You're not old. You know, the studies are telling us now that the aging process has changed dramatically. I mean, we are now seeing people... In, in in the whole aging piece where really, you know, we always joke about it, but really 50 is becoming a new 30 or 35. We are, we are definitely slowing down the aging process and our abilities and mobility is getting better. I saw a huge sign the other day and it was promoted by a really famous hospital that I have a lot of respect for. And the billboard said 70 is the new 40. And there's a lot of truth to that with the advances that we're having now in healthcare it really is changing. So your mind plays a huge role in this. So I want to say that to tell you this, is that there's so much in store for your life. You know, there, the, you were designed with a great purpose. And because you hit certain points in your life, I would not let age determine what that is. Because if, 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 if the, whatever the subconscious mind, whatever you tell it, it's like a computer. So it doesn't have any relevance of, of time. It only goes by what you tell it, and it, it never shuts down. Even while you're sleeping, it's been shown that the subconscious mind is still at work. And so it controls so much in the body. And if you say you're old, if you say you're, you're worn out, if you say you're too tired, if you say that you're just going to always be overweight or you'll always have diabetes or you have blood pressure because grandma and grandpa had it, and so you must be, you know, it must be in the family line, so you're going to have it. If you tell yourself things over and over and over again, guess what? Your body will make it happen. Mind-body medicine is more powerful than we ever thought imaginable. So I want to tell you this, to set a new standard for yourself. Set a new standard in the way that you think. I truly believe there's a whole area and field that I study a lot called health psychology. And it's a new division of the American Psychological Association. And it's, it's a new, it's kind of a, a field in medicine that has been pioneered for a while, but I really think it, it has a strong piece to all of us. Because the way we think determines the way we live. And for years we've known that in medicine, but we've never really been able to tie the two together. We've been so busy repairing the body that we don't really get down and say, okay, what can be on the preventative side to get us into a place where we can have a higher level of health? And let me tell you something. When you feel better, life is better. When you have good health, you can move, you, you, can, you can feel better, you can laugh, you can be with others and, and be at a higher level for yourself. And that is a real key. That's why our health is so important. You lose your health. Let me tell you something. You lose some money, you can get it back. All right, you go through a bankruptcy, yeah, it's tough, I get it, but you can build and rebuild. But you lose your health, and you lose one of the most valuable assets that any of us could have, and that's an area that we here in our company, we want to help you build, and we want to help you build it strong and build it well so you can thrive and have the kind of life that you deserve, for the freedom you deserve. Why? Because you do deserve that, and we want to see you live that way. 888-283-7272. Give us a call. we taking your calls here on the show just like always. Now, we've got some new things coming up too here on the show. And by the way, you can go to the website. Check that out. We've got some new things coming up though that I'm really excited about. We'll be doing Facebook Live broadcast during the day and we'll be we'll be showing that in our posting. So make sure to join us on our Facebook page and then we'll be we'll be letting you know through emails and whatnot, when we're going to be broadcasting. I'll let you know here, too, but we're going to create a Facebook Live piece that you'll be able to connect with us because some people can't listen at night all the time for the show or they can't listen during the daytime when it's when it's uh, broadcast. So we're going to have a special edition set up for you. And, then of course, our podcast have been doing really, really well. If you want to download those, you can do that. Just check us out on iTunes, Stitcher. And all that. If you go to the website, everything is there. It's all detailed out for you. All right, let's jump on the phones and talk to Joel. Hi, Joel. Welcome to the show. It's been about two weeks, but I got up one morning, and I was bouncing off the walls. Head was spinning, and now it took about three or four days for it to go away, but I'm still dealing with it. I have no idea. All I do is go to a nurse practitioner. Well, Joel, here's the deal. If you kind of feel like you're you're bouncing off the walls, one thing you've got to look at is you want to look at, well, two things, really. You want to look at all the different neurotransmitters. 
these are the different brain chemicals that we have. The, the neurotransmitters and brain chemicals are vital, and they really set the stage. And what I mean by that is they really determine how well the brain functions. They also determine energy levels in the body. They affect, they, and they can play a role with cortisol levels, which have to do with the adrenal glands. But these different neurotransmitters like dopamine and serotonin, acetylcholine, GABA, they all, and a lot of the different brain meds that tend to manage when somebody feels like they're bouncing off the walls or depressed or stressed, whatever, those different brain chemicals can be regulated with nutrition. They can be regulated with so much. And there's testing that can be done that we do in our coaching systems. There's testing that can be done to really figure out what those levels are and then what kind of game plan nutritionally or lifestyle-based that you can follow. But you want to learn what that is. Now, I would go to your primary care doctor, have them take a look, make sure they can rule things out and get a good idea of a baseline of what might be happening. But if they throw their hands up and they say, you know what, you look great, basics are are good here, then you want to start looking a little bit deeper. And that's where the neurotransmitter testing, the brain chemical testing, can really get in and get into some details that can be great. Now, the other thing is whole bouncing off the wall concept I was talking about the adrenals. There's testing for that, too. And I would get your cortisol levels checked and see what the rhythm of that is. See what the pattern is over a period of time. And you can easily get that testing done and figure out what those what those numbers are. But the whole pattern of just kind of bouncing off the wall and, and, and having that high level of energy or it dropping and, and having that, the mind racing, that can easily be corrected. But you've got to figure out first what the root cause is because there's so many different variables to it but once you do i mean there's a lot you can do even naturally you know more with a lifestyle base to it that can help triple eight two eight three seven two seven two that's triple eight two eight three seven two seven two lines are open with questions about your health you can give us a call or go to the website we're here for you each and every day whatever you're struggling with remember you don't have to stay there So one of the big keys you have to focus in on is understanding that your lifestyle, your choices you make every single day, the foods you eat, air you breathe, water you drink, exercise you get or don't get, rest that you allow and stress that you manage, relationships that you keep in your life. See, these are all things that we decide. These are all choices that we make every single day. So no one else can do that for you. You you do that every single day. And that's what I say. We're all a sum collective of these choices that we make. And it's just all about making the right choices. That's the key. Rheumatoid arthritis is a, a huge topic. Matter of fact, arthritis is a big topic. And there's a big difference between rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis. So I want to get into that in just a minute because there's a there's a big discrepancy on that. I mean, what what kind of drugs can help? What kind of you know, all that is is super important. So I want to get into the difference between rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis, but also what kind of natural options there are to really support the body in something like this. We'll do that in just a moment. 888-283-7272. Hi, this is Dr. Ray said to talk to you about the world's best protein for longevity called Best Amino. Protein is essential for every cell in your body to function at its absolute best. Best Amino is the highest absorbable protein more than meat, eggs and dairy which may only absorb at 50 60 or 70 percent best amino is a proven formula of essential proteins that we all need that absorbs at 99 percent visit bestamino.com that's bestamino.com where you need to be. Your lifestyle is your medicine. Don't forget that. So our choices matter. This is a great plan for your life. You know, you're designed with a purpose. You've got gifts and talents I don't have. You have abilities that that I don't have, and I have abilities you don't have. Did you know that? I tell you that because I think one of the biggest pieces that people miss with their health is knowing why they're here. 
whatever it is, whether you're a mom, grandma, whether you are a dad, have no kids, or you're just you're working every single day and you've been given a certain set of of abilities, it's finding those and, and using those to serve others. So you kind of know you're in your sweet spot when you're doing what you're good at and and you're making a difference in other people's lives. That's what we're here for. And I found that people that know their purpose, that really walk in that and they, they can live in that, that their health is pretty amazing. Okay. The ones that don't, that just kind of are drifting through life, don't know why they're here, don't really know what their great skill sets are, have a real hard time health wise. And you see that with people when they get older, like the whole concept of retiring. Now, if you've retired and you, you claim that and you're good with that, that's that's fine. It's just not for me. I don't like the concept of it. I don't like what it means because you've been given talents and abilities that you're supposed to use your whole life. So I think once you, you're mentally, once you tell you the brain that you're retired, that it, you know, it's kind of like the season where you're just going to play golf. If you look at the statistics of people that, that do retire, men or women, and you look at their health, their health declines. And we think, well, when you're 65 and you retire, you're 65, right? So it's just one of those things where you're, you're older and you're, the body's supposed to get sick at some point or break down or whatever, and it's not the case. The case is that mentally you're not on point every day. Mentally you're not on purpose every day. You see that with, with moms a lot. Like once the kids grow up and they leave the house and they leave the nest, especially if the kids become disengaged, right? Like it's okay. They go do their own thing. They move halfway across the country and they have their own life and you see them twice a year. Well, there, there's a lot to that. And if a mom has all of her self-worth and, and her own purpose wrapped up in the kids, well, now what? And you see that person get into a situation where health declines. So my whole point of telling you that is this, is that you really want to get into who you are, your gifts, your talents, what, what they're for. And you'll find that great health, no matter what your age is, will come out of that. And that's a real big key. So we're talking about arthritis. I want to jump in on this because it's a big, big topic. Before I get into these two points of arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis, I want to get on the phones for just a minute. So let's get to Mary. Hi, Mary. I'm calling for my husband, Mike, and he has been diagnosed with MS. So my question is, is there a good protocol for treating MS? You know, there, Mary... I, I'll tell you this, multiple sclerosis is a challenge for for so many, and it, it's one of those situations where, well, let's just break it down for what it is, okay? It's looked at as an autoimmune process in the body where the body attacks itself, and it's the actual nerve, if you think about a nerve, kind of like a piece of, of electrical wire. So you know how the electrical wire has the copper in the middle, right, the metal, and then it has that rubber coating around the outside? That's kind of like a nerve in our body. So if the nerve is healthy, but the myelin, which is myelin, is the sheath around the nerve, which is kind of like the rubber coating on a wire, what happens is the body thinks something's wrong with that, so it starts to eat that away. And when that breaks down and you begin to eat that away, then it exposes the nerve. The nerve becomes a lot more fragile and, and creates a lot of dysfunction the nerves begin to lose their function, and then, of course, there you, there in turn, you lose a lot of the ability and, and the function of the body, and that's where you see the decline of someone. So really, you have to look at what's going to slow the process down, because right now in medicine and with, with a lot of the, the findings and the evidence, as we call it, there is technically no cure, right? But, but there are things you can do definitely to slow the process down. And that's what it's all about. It's about maintaining the highest quality of life you can when you're faced with any challenge that you can for the duration. And that's really what the focus needs to be on with MS. So one of the keys that you want to look at, and this is really interesting, but if you look at what makes the myelin in the body, there's there's something, because it was created, remember, this was all being built when you were in your mom, right? When you were in your mother and, and God was developing the body at that point, all these different processes were being formed. Well, guess what makes myelin is milk. So there's a milk sugar called galactose. It's very different than glucose, which is table sugar, or is uh, is the a form of sugar and you got sucrose and you got and you got fructose which is a fruit sugar but sucrose is more of the table sugar 
But the galactose is a milk sugar, and the the mother's milk created and built the myelin. What's interesting is goat's milk and goat's milk yogurt, anything along organic goat's milk, is a very similar, almost the same molecular structure as human mother's milk. And what's really interesting they found is that by eating the goat's milk and by utilizing that galactose milk sugar, it can potentially help to reproduce myelin and help that grow even better or prevent the breakdown of it as well. So is that is that a cure? No. Is that something that you can incorporate in your eating plan along with high-level omega-3 fatty acids to to really help support the nervous system? Sure. And that's what it's all about. So there's there's a lot of natural things you can do. Inflammation and cutting down inflammation in the body is a big key too. So that's that's one of the major major keys is cutting down the inflammatory process and and mental and emotional stress with somebody with MS is a major trigger. So if there's any kind of emotional stress going on at all, you have to eliminate it. You have to get as far away from it as you can and build kind of a fortress of that person of peace of, of just an entire situation with them where there's there's a lot of balance in their life and you do that and you can really make a difference in slowing that process down and giving them a higher quality of life when you're struggling with multiple sclerosis okay hope that helps 888-283-7272 that's 888-283-7272 lines are open give us a call go to the website we're here for you each and every day. Coming up, I've got more questions about your health and got some tips you don't want to miss. Hi, it's Asa. I'm giving you a copy of my best-selling book for free to help you in your health journey today. I'll pay for the book. All you do is just cover the small shipping and handling costs. Go to asarx.com and get your free book today. To find out more, visit the show online, InShapeNetwork.com. Lines are open, 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272. So glad you're with us. You can check us out on the web. We're here for you to help you go where you need to go in your health. There's such a great plan and purpose for your life. I want you to know that, that digging into... Who you are is going to be one of the greatest tools you can have for your health, and we want to help you do that. So on this show, we want to help you. It's all about the whole person. Always has been, always will be. We're talking about arthritis a little bit. I've been wanting to jump into that. So rheumatoid arthritis is very different from osteoarthritis. Now, arthritis is basically the, the inflammation of a joint. Okay, Itis is inflammation, and then arthro means joint. So if you have rheumatoid arthritis, that's where you start getting the deformities. If you ever see somebody's hand that has the joints that begin to, to bend or deform a little bit. That's, that is along the lines of rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is a little bit different because it's an autoimmune condition. When I say autoimmune, that means the body's attacking itself. And there's usually a strong genetic link to that, meaning that it's like a light switch, right? When you have an autoimmune process, you can't really... You can't really turn it off. Once the light switch is turned on, you can't turn the light off, but you can put a dimmer switch on it and turn that dimmer down as low as possible so that the body doesn't really manifest a lot of the symptoms. Well, rheumatoid arthritis is like that. The goal with rheumatoid is not to cure it. The goal of rheumatoid arthritis is really to put that dimmer switch on it and get it to chill out. And so the symptoms are very, very mild, okay? But what's interesting, there's a lot of natural things you can do to to support these swollen joints and a lot of the aches and pains that come with rheumatoid arthritis, even if you have a lot of the morning stiffness that goes on with it. So here's some things you can really look at. So number one, you can look at Greek yogurt. Of course, you want to do the kind without any kind of sugar in it. I mean, that's a that's a real big deal. And I would, if you're going to do that, Definitely get the organic version. Chia pudding. So if you have chia seeds, chia seeds are loaded with omega-3 fatty acids. They're known to help reduce inflammation. And when you mix with a liquid, you can get chia seeds, you grind them up, and you can put with a, a yogurt-type substance, and you can make it into more of a pudding. Tastes amazing. And it's really good. You can mix in some turmeric 
and ginger that can help along the way too. Now, oatmeal can be helpful, too. It needs to be gluten-free, though. The steel-cut oats, the kind that you have to let soak for a while, they're the better versions of it. And, of course, if you want to top off with some walnuts, is a great way to do it, too, because the walnuts are so high in the omega-3 fatty acids. Big deal. Now, here's my favorites, right? I'm a big fan. I'm going to tell you something that I do every single day for me. Now, gratefully, I don't have rheumatoid arthritis. I, I do this as more of just general health because I think there's certain foods that we do need every single day. I'm a big believer in variety, but I'm a big believer also that there's certain foods that we just have to have and that our body functions really well on. So cold water fish is something I think we need every day. Salmon has been shown to be one of the top foods to help cut down on the inflammatory process with rheumatoid arthritis. So wild salmon is a big one. And just, just six ounces of it can give you about 20 to 25 grams of omega-3 fats, which is pretty phenomenal. So you get a huge chunk of that with that. Now, the other are eggs. Eggs are great. And eggs contain omega-3 fats, also contain the omega-6s and the 9s. But they're, they're loaded with powerful ingredients and, and nutrients that can help support any type of of typical arthritis type symptoms that that can help. So eggs are great. And then avocados. Avocados are are phenomenal. They're monounsaturated fats, which may just sound like a bunch of Japanese to you and that's cool. But the bottom line is the these monounsaturated fats are the good fats. All right. They're the ones that can help really make a difference in the brain, but they can hit, make a difference in the joints as well. So I even avocado typically almost every day. I definitely eat eggs every day, salmon every day. Those are some key for, and anchovies are a good alternative, by the way. Tuna, sardines, anchovies. Those are great. If you can't get salmon, those are some good. They're, all fish is good for the most part, except like bottom feeders, catfish. You probably want to stay away from that as much as you can. But most fish is good. There's just like the tuna, the ones I was talking about, the sardines, the salmon, they're kind of really high on the scale for the amount of omega-3s. Now, one thing we do in all of our coaching systems is we check and test to see what somebody's uh, any person's omega three fatty acid levels are omega three six nines and then your trans fats which are the cancer fats so you want to figure out how much a person actually has going on and how well their body is is functioning with them that's a real big key because with rheumatoid arthritis the higher the omega three fatty acids are in the body the better the joints are going to feel. And the better it's going to function. Now, to contrast that to osteoarthritis, remember, osteoarthritis doesn't have the autoimmune component. So the body's not attacking itself. With osteoarthritis, it's a general wear and tear. So an athlete that starts to get wear and tear on their knees, they start to get knee pain or low back pain or neck pain or shoulder pain from, say, a tennis player or a golfer. So someone that has repetitive motions or a factory worker that's been moving things, UPS worker that's been moving things for 20 years or 15 years, that's what we call wear and tear. So the osteoarthritis, a good anti-inflammatory based diet is, is something that's great to follow. So you're eating, believe it or not, your food habits make a tremendous difference in the way you feel, make a tremendous difference in the joints. They make a tremendous difference in the, the overall way that your body functions. And so if you're, if you're going to have good amount, like let's say equal amounts of lean quality proteins that you're eating every single day, like chicken, fish, beef, or eggs, that's great. You want to cut back a lot though, when you're dealing with arthritis on a lot of the starchy carbohydrates. So bread, pasta, cereal, crackers, potatoes, rice, you want to cut a lot. You want to cut back on that because that can sometimes for some, can raise the inflammatory response. And one thing you definitely do not want to do is go low fat. Now, when I say good fats, I mean things like nuts, seeds, things like whole eggs, right? Uh, things like the fats found in fish like we just talked about. Avocados are great. Coconut oil is great, too. But getting the right amount of fats in your body every single day is tremendous on cutting down the inflammatory process. It's a huge deal. So when you're dealing with arthritis, make sure make sure that you, that you have those kind of on point. Your eating habits are going to be one of your greatest tools and weapons. Everybody looks for a pill. Everybody looks for a patch. Everybody looks for the lotions and the potions. But at the end of the day, it's going to be your daily habits that make the biggest difference. 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272. Give us a call or go to the website.
Let's get on the phones and talk to Lynn. Hi, Lynn. I developed a very, very thick callus on the end of one of my toes last winter. Shoveling snow, I had rubber boots on. I can't seem to break that callus down, and now I seem to have an ulcer on the end of the toe. I'm just wondering what to do about it. Yeah, I'll tell you, Lynn, depending, and of course I'm not there to see it, but I can tell you that when you have a certain callus, from it's usually from repetitive motions or repair, uh, repetitive wear and tear from, say, the way that boot hit your foot. And the callus can build over time, and it can also reduce. So it's it's obviously to not wear those. I would get to a podiatrist. I think that's a good idea. If it's bothering you, you got to have somebody that's a specialist take a look at it. It's definitely not something you just go say, okay, Let's go to the pedicure person and let them just cut the skin off. Like you, you know, it's it's one of those things that you really need to get and let a. I always, I'm a big specialist guy. I think that that it's always good to have a professional opinion from someone in that field, and then you can create a good system around it. For example, if they say, "Oh, we can do this, this, and this," here's how you avoid it. Then you got your answer. If they throw their hands up and they say, "Well, I don't know," then you either need to find somebody else to talk to or then there may not be a whole lot that they can do, but there's some th- things naturally that we can do. You can always call us back, too, on that. But I would have them take a peek at it first because calluses can be eliminated pretty quickly if it is that. It could be what's called a bunion. So, I mean, there's other things that could be formed, and it might not even be from the boots last winter. It could be something that was building and forming over time based on other shoes you've been wearing on a regular basis. So that's that's another another key with it. So I would have that looked at, okay? Have it looked at and let us know for sure. Triple eight two eight three seven two seven two. That's triple eight two eight three seven two seven two. Lines are open. Questions about your health, you can give us a call or go to the website. If you haven't watched our TV show, you should. You should check in for local listings. If you can't find it in your local area, then let us know and we can help you find that in your area. Of course, We're in about 300 cities across the country, and it's on every single day. So if you can't catch it, we've got, of course, the the network. You can watch it there, and we can keep you posted on new. But it's great. It's it's interactive. It's we've got a lot of people that really love it and have become big fans of it. So we want to encourage you to catch that. And then if you haven't been listening to the podcast, you can download that now pretty much anywhere. Stitcher, you can do it iTunes, of course. But that's a great tool as well, just to have in your pocket to to catch quick. There's a lot shorter versions of that, too. There's all kinds of ways to catch content and really get coached. I mean, that's one of the big things. I call myself America's Health Coach for a reason because we want to be able to take you by the hand and, and really get you from where you are in your current state of health. It doesn't matter what you're dealing with, diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure, depression, anxiety, no matter what you're struggling with, We want to help you go from where you are in your current state of health to where you need to be. So that's the key. One of the big things you've got to do is is focus on your habits. Your habits are the key. And no matter what you struggle with, remember, if you've made bad habits for 10 years, it doesn't matter. You can change them. And, you know, you just have to, you have to be able to tell us in in one, if I ask you something, habits are a key. I'm we're going to get into that when we come back. Hang tight. Hi, this is Dr. Ray. So to talk to you about the world's best protein for longevity called Best Amino. Protein is essential for every cell in your body to function at its absolute best. Best Amino is the highest absorbable protein more than meat, eggs, and dairy, which may only absorb at 50, 60, or 70%. Best Amino is a proven formula of essential proteins that we all need that absorbs at 99%. Visit bestamino.com. That's bestamino.com. Connect with On Call Radio and watch Lines On Call TV at Give us a call or go to the website. Let's talk about sex. Let's do it. I know. I know. Shocked, right? Look, it's health. We got to talk about it. It's important. And, and personally, I think that so many people would be happier 
in their relationships if they were doing it more often. And, and I get that stress comes in. I understand that, that life happens. And I understand there's different triggers for women than men. And everybody gets in their drama in their relationships and everything shuts down. But believe it or not, there are study after study after study after study that if you would just have sex, regardless of all the drama in life, it would actually make life better. And and that's not, I mean, it's 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 not just, you know, a bunch of hype. It really is true. Carol Lieberman, who's a physician and a master's in public health, psychiatrist in Beverly Hills, California, they did studies and she did a whole dissertation on it. But having sex releases a couple things, a hormone called oxytocin, which helps you de-stress and can help tremendously helps your sleeping patterns and it helps de-stress the body, improves mood, improves sleep, and of course, improves relationships. It just does all the way around. So they're saying to just to, to do this. They did this study where they had people, couples had sex every day, all right, seven days a week. And even regardless, no matter what the kids, doesn't matter about the stress, it doesn't matter about deadlines with work, you make time for it. And they found that when they did that, and they gave different examples for it, but when they did that, that everything improved. Relationships improved, productivity at work improved, uh, the way the kids were treated and the, the atmosphere in the home was better. I mean, you kind of think, it's amazing. Just something that simple and what it does. So most most counselors and most even physicians, when they when we talk about this sort of thing, it, it can make people uncomfortable. But the reality is, even for guys, something as simple as having sex on a regular basis increases or, or decreases, rather, the chances of prostate cancer for that man. So there's all kinds of benefits to it. And I think that it's an area that we don't talk about enough. It's it's an area that we just kind of leave out. It's uncomfortable for a lot of people. But the reality is it's part of life and it's a part of uh, relationships. And, of course, my belief system in a committed relationship, do you know, of course, do what you want. But that it's important to to make that a priority because it is a huge part of of our health. And in in a major way, if you look at people that are married and and that are going through those kind of situations where they're not having it, you'll see that it, it's a real key to a lot of the healing that can take place in their own health and in the relationship itself. So not that I'm prescribing anything, right? But they say in the research that it's good to do it more often. Triple eight two eight three seven two seven two. That's triple eight. Two eight three seven two seven two. Let's get to the phones and talk to Mark. Hi, Mark. I had a question on a foot concern. My toenails are, have a crease in the middle, and also a toenail fungus. And I wondered if that's a root symptom of something, or and how to treat it. Yeah, the t- the toenail fungus. Usually, you got to remember it comes from something systemically. So toenail fungus will come or any kind of fungus in the body that shows itself externally usually is already happening internally. So you really want to get to a place where the internal piece of the body gets looked at and gets worked on. Your physician is a good person to talk to and kind of lay out a game plan. There's drugs for that. There's medications. There's also a lot of natural options that you can do for fungal-related infections and, and, and the like. Parasitic infections kind of fall in those lines, too, that can mimic a lot of what's going on on the fungal side it's it's pretty it's not that hard not that difficult to really get that balanced out once you can determine that and there's testing that your physician can do in their office in their office to to kind of figure out the the baseline of what's really happening and that's what i would do first because it can it can be it can be treated pretty easily things like wormwood and black walnut these things are are so basic but they work great and along with Potentially some medications if you need it. Your doc can guide you down that way. 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272. And we're so glad you're with us here on the show just like each and every day. Oh, and hop in on Facebook too. We're going to be doing our Facebook live show as well that you can hop on and answer questions. Or I'll answer questions for you right there on that show. Jenny from Florida says, do you recommend emulsified cod liver oil or regular cod liver oil, what's the difference? Well, first of all, I'm just glad you're asking about cod liver oil. It's old school. They actually make it where it tastes good now. We, in our company, we have our own nutrition company. And, and of course, you got to make sure it's mercury-free. That's the big one. Emulsified is the way that it's processed. And the emulsified cod liver oil is, is, is good. 
But I'm I'm fine with either one. The emulsify doesn't taste great, as long as you get it where it's organic. It's not it's not over it's not heated right, and that there's low to no mercury content. So those are the things you've got to look for with cod liver oil. And the problem is that you've got in most stores there's no certification agency that's going to say okay this is mercury free. You have to know the brands. You've got to know how they're processed. I will tell you this: you get what you pay for. It's like anything. So if you're if you're spending ten dollars for a bottle of cod liver oil, what do you think? If you're spending forty to fifty dollars, you're spending that money for a reason. Okay, don't be cheap. Don't be cheap when it comes to your body, because you're going to pay for your health. You're going to pay for it now, and a preventative side, which I would rather do. Or you're going to spend a whole lot being you're sick trying to regain your health. That's not a good way to live. All right, not a good way. So we want to help you every way that we can. But cod liver oil. Make sure the quality is high. That's one of the biggest things you can do, Jenny. Thanks so much for that email. And by the way, you can send me emails. Go to the website. And you can send emails to us. We love hearing from you. Whatever we can do to help, support, and give you the help that you need, that's what we want to do here on the show. And also, if you need help with a provider, our lifestyle providers, our healthcare providers in your area that believe just like we do, and they can help you find someone to to help you with whatever you need to take you by the hand that's another hour in the charts i want to thank our producer dj allen engineer john garrison and the rest of the team go tell one person something you learn on the show together we can transform the health of our friends our families and our communities you'll listen to the show that helps you get well stay well and live well we're diagnosing hope in person at a time did you know you could listen to the asa rx audio experience on spotify and pandora for all the ways to watch and listen, check out our show page at asarx.com slash experience. Hi, it's Asa. I'm giving you a copy of my best-selling book for free to help you in your health journey today. I'll pay for the book. All you do is just cover the small shipping and handling costs. Go to asarx.com and get your free book today. This episode is over, but check episode notes for links to products and services you've heard about on this episode. Thanks for listening and subscribing. Please share the ASA RX audio experience with others and stay in touch by giving us your comment or review.